of reference. Look at the assistant referee. Look at the assistant referee. He's in line with the second last defender, but at the moment where the ball is the point of reference and no longer the second last defender, he is in line with the ball because the point of reference is now the ball. The ball is nearer the opponent's goal line than any of those strikers. But the ball is essentially played backwards. So we don't line. talk about anybody in an offside position mm. because there was Where? no one in an offside position. So we don't talk about interfering with play mm. or interfering with an opponent mm. because you only do those when you are coming from an offside position. So because the ball was nearer the opponent's goal line than all those strikers, even if the other 10 were to come through, we can't speak of an offside position. Right. Straight into Chipa and Orlando Pirates. There's a goal scored by Bandile Shandu. Mm. Uh, but Lipasa did something there. So remember, my, uh, offside is when a player is nearer to his opponent's goal line than both the ball and the second last opponent. So now, let's check if uh, the player has interfered with either play opponent or gain advantage. Here we can see Lipasa is in an offside position. Now, in that position, uh, we want to check whether he interfered with play. No, but with an opponent. Why do we say opponent? Because he's making an obvious action that impacts on the player's ability to play the ball. So making an obvious action, you are now interfering with an opponent. And he's also blocking the keeper's line of vision. So when you do that, you are now interfering with an opponent. Flag should go up for offside. So incorrect decision there given by the assistant referee. That goal should not have been allowed to stand because the Lipasa interfered with an opponent. As you say, There was something you